that's when some of this guy will love it. You know, I apologize for whatever I did to make you go, you know, act like you did. So I wasn't going to say a word. And in the Hall of Fame, they sat me right in front of me. I went, okay. So I told Stone Cold, I said, man, this is going to be awkward. You know, because Steve was to my right. On my life's the right, and Steve was next to us. I told Steve, this could be a little weird. And I was praying to God the warrior was cool, and he was. There was no bang, no bang, bang. I didn't have to roll up on the stage and do anything crazy. Everything was cool. You know, and he was, but he, he didn't really look at me. You know, and I was trying to make eye contact with him. And so the next day was WrestleMania, and I said, man, this, I told my wife, this is so weird that I can't talk to him. And sure enough, that Superdome was so big, he had to take a golf cart to ride around. And me and my son, Nick, got really bored after being in the building for about six or seven hours, we, we stole a golf cart, right? And then some guy stopped us, oh, if you need a golf cart, I have to drive. So we said, sure, drive, brother. We just want to ride around a little bit. We rode all the way around that building. I feel like it was about five miles. Yeah, it's so big. And all of a sudden, I said, stop the cart. And I saw the warrior standing kind of like in the hallway. And he had a suit on. It looked like he was standing with his eyes closed, wobbling or something. I said, stop. So I got off the, the golf cart, and I kind of jogged, you know, because I can still jog a little bit. I kind of jogged a few steps, and he kind of like put his hands up like, and he didn't say anything like, to stop me. I said, no, 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 man, I'm cool, I'm cool. I went right up to him. I shook his hand. I said, brother, I know I'm not supposed to talk to you, but I just want to let you know I love you, you know, and if you ever want to be friends, I'd love to be friends with you. You know, if we could ever do business, that'd be great, but I just want to tell you, man, that I love you so much and that whatever I did, you know, to make you react the way you did or whatever, I just please forgive me. And then I noticed there was a WWE camera that peeled around the side. I had no idea they had a camera falling in. And so that was real, bro. And I'm so glad I got to talk to him. Yeah. So glad. Because, you know, the next night on Raw, he went out there and he had a little, put a little warrior mask on. He had a hard time getting it off. I don't know if you noticed when he tried to get it off, he had a hard time. He, he didn't look good, you know? And I was standing next to somebody that was near the girl. He says, don't shoot him going down the stairs. I don't know if anybody heard me, but I said, oh my God, I was afraid he's gonna fall down the stairs. He came back, I gave him another big hug after the Raw, because I told everybody I talked to him, nah, 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 too late now. Yeah. So I gave him another big hug, he took a picture of me and Patterson. Yeah. Next night I go in the ring with Daniel Bryan, doing the thing, the yes thing, and the ear thing, and posing. I come out of the ring and Vince is standing there. He was staring at me, and I was like, man, what's, what's up with that? I, I, I just did something stupid, cool, you know? I, I never do that, give me a call, and I kind of walked off, I told Jimmy Harris, Jimmy Harris, something's weird. You know, Vince never just stands there and stares at me like that. So I went back and I said, are you cool? Is everything okay? He goes, sit down for a minute. I gotta tell you something. I don't know if I'm another ribs coming. You know, I don't know what he's gonna set me up with. Cause you know, you never know. He's full of it, he's full of it. And he goes, no, nobody knows yet. But while you're in the ring, you know, we got the word that Jim passed away. What? And so that's how I found out. Oh, that's but thank God I got to talk to him. Yeah, it's a blessing. On the break, I think, honestly, it's a blessing for all of us. I got to say, even as a stupid wrestling fan and someone who talks about it, I had been critical of Warrior for a long time, and then getting to see him have those moments, it was great. I think he, he it was a beautiful thing that he got. To well, you know, praise his children like that. He, he had a great, a great moment, yeah. and that's one of the really great things, like sort of about the you know modern era where the fans know too much yeah. and they know that, but like, but we care about your real life relationships, yeah. like there's. 